Hello, we're going to set up the home page of Parallax Pro Theme by StudioPress. Now this is what the home page looks like when it's set up properly. It's all these like stripy effects on the front page. But when you first install the theme on your site, it'll look more like this, which is just your most recent blog posts in a list. There's no menu here. So that's what we're going to do first, add this menu. So we need to go to Dashboard, Appearance, Menus, make a name for your menu here. We're going to create a new menu, so type a name here, click Create Menu. Now we've got a menu but we've got nothing inside it, so but it says Pages here. I'm going to add all of the pages I've made, so I'm going to select all of them. Click Add to Menu, and then I'm going to save the menu. So now we've got a menu, but we've not used it anywhere. Now usually, what you do, you go to Manage Locations, and put it in either the primary or secondary navigation. But on this theme, it goes here in the um, header right widget area. So we go to Appearance, Widgets. And we want to put a custom menu in the header right widget area. And the easiest way, if you've got a modern version of WordPress, you can just click that and it gives you some options. I want to choose to put a custom menu in header right. So make your selection, click add widget, and it's added it there. If you've got an old version of WordPress, you might actually have to drag the widget into the widget area. Right, so we've got the custom menu widget in the header right widget area. I'm going to salute, uh, choose my menu. Click save. See what's happened now. There we go. And I'll just edit that a little bit to see if we can make the uh, things fit. Go back to menus and I'll change the text in about to about us to about and our service will just have services see if that makes our links fit without wrapping let's have a quick check and still won't do it so what I'm going to do is just make one of those into a drop down list so we'll put services portfolio under there it's a drop down list I don't want them to wrap but that's the point so it wraps there so now it's made a drop down list. Right, what's next? What we need to do next is to put text widgets. The way you get this effect on the front page is by adding text widgets in certain widget areas. So this is a text widget with text inside it. This is another text widget in another widget area. So is this. This is HTML in a text widget and that's another text widget with a simple social icons plugin and then another text widget at the bottom so let's add them one at a time so you get an idea this is what we've got so far but by just adding one text widget in a widget area you'll see how we go forward right so we've got to appearance widgets and we want to put a text widget into home section 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and footer 1. So appearance widgets and text widget and we want to go into home section 1, add to widget. There we go. And then you put your text in here. So what what well and we're going to put that thing about us and then I was going to put a bit of blurb underneath so what I'll do I will right I just I just typed in there um, about us and I typed a little bit of blurb here now this is a, a link a HTML link with a class of button now I'll just show you what, what effect that's had. Quick save on our page. 
So all we've done, we've added a text widget here. Refresh the page, and the text widget, that's the headline of the text widget, that's the body copy of the text widget, and this is the link. So I'll just show you how we make that link work, that button work. So what we need to do, I always keep a spare um, page or post like this one here AA11 draft I just keep something that I'm not going to use but I can um, I, I use it to make HTML I use WordPress to make simple HTML so I'm using the text tab not visual I'm using the text tab I want to make a link well, <laughs> not yet I want to make a link about us I'm going to link to the About Us page. So I can just type that there, make a link. And I want to link to the About Us page. Click Add Link. Now, we've got a link to the About Us page. But what we need to do is add here, but after this ahref, I'll just zoom in a bit there. Not what we want to do. So we can see what's going on. Where you see the href here, in that gap, I want to put a class equals, and then double quotes, and it says button. So we've got a href, and in between the two, we've added class equals button with double quotes and there's a gap at this end and there's a gap at that end so we'll go back to the normal zoom size I want to copy this code all that is is a link if you have a look it's, another, it's a link with um, the class of button but when we copy and, that, copy and paste that into our widget area I didn't save the page. Um, we paste this into the widget here, there, and that makes the button. It's the class button that actually makes it into that, that gives it the button effect. Right, so we need to do that for that one there, home section one, home section two, three, four, five, and footer one. So what I will do, right, what I've done, I've added, they've got home section one with a text widget, home section two with a text widget, it's just the same, put a title, some text, and I made a link in the same way, make a link using a WordPress editor, and then add a class of button, that's home section two, home section three, it's just the same. Home section four is the um, the HTML table. So if you have a look on the demo, you've got this pricing table here. Now to get that pricing table, what you need to do, I put a link below this video for the code. But you get this code that that Studio Press pr provide for you. I'll, I'll add a link below the video. If you look below this video on YouTube, uh, or if you're on the web page that goes with the video, you'll be able to see the link. Um, so this is what you need, you need this code. So if we copy that code, now if you have a, an editor, just paste it in. And all you have to do is go through this code and change the text. It's fairly obvious what the text is, but if you if you get stuck, just go to the Studio Press demo page and find a bit that you want to change. That's in the, the header of the, that's the, headline of the text widget but this is inside the text widget inside the HTML so if you searched for that you could just pretend you couldn't find it in this here just most with uh, most um, text editors you want to do a plain text editor don't try to do this with Microsoft Word it was a plain text editor like notepad or something like that but most plain text editors if you press Control F you get a search box a find box. So 
So we'll paste that in there and it's found it for us here. And all we'd have to do is just change that. So if we change this, um, we'll change a few other bits. If you look between these angle brackets, you don't want to delete any of the angle brackets, just the text. Say like this list item, one list item two. But if you get stuck, just go back to the page. Suppose you want to change this bit. We'll just change that bit there. Copy that and in your text editor, just search for it. That's that bit there. So all we'd need to do is type uh, we'll paste that into our um, widget and you should be able to see what we've done so this one goes in home section 4 I'll delete what's in there now so we save that I'll just show you. So we scroll down to the table. That's how I want to see it. My, my table there. And I put in there my new text. But that's all you need to do. You just change the te text that's in there already. All these list items and things. And you'll have to change the links too. So change the text, change the links. I'll just show you how you change the links. To change the links, here you'll see again anchor class equals button, and where it says href, there's a little pound sign there, and just put instead of that pound sign, just put the link to the page that you want to um, view when you click the link. So if you wanted to click the to go to the about page, just copy the link from here and paste that into where have we got a button there we go that one href paste it in there like that right so that's got that that bit done go back to our home page now when we get to the bottom of the page we have got this these it's called the simple social icons plugin so all you need to do is to install the plugin to start with so you go to pl plugins here now I actually got it installed which is this one here but if you didn't have it installed we would just search for it and install it simple social icons You'd click add new plugin, search in the search box there, and then it's by Nathan Rice, and you'll just install that plugin. It's already installed on my machine. Now, to make that work, we go to appearance, widgets, and in this side here, you will find. Um, a widget called simple social icons this one and that one goes in I think it's home section 5 but you just choose the widget area to put it in and add the widget I'll just show you how how it's set up let's have a look I think it's that one there we go simple social icons the bit of text you see this text is from a text widget and this is the simple social icons plugin or oh, widget um, all you need to do just type in here your Facebook URL so if you've got a Facebook page copy the link to that and paste it in there if you've got um, a LinkedIn page go to your LinkedIn page copy the URL this is the URL at the top here this in this letterbox here is the URL so you go to look at your LinkedIn page copy the URL and then paste it into here and Twitter go to your Twitter page 
copy the URL, paste it in there, and the same with your YouTube or whatever else you've got, Vimeo, Tumblr, anything. And that will make it so that you get these icons here. Well, that's more or less all you need to do to set up the front page. So, thanks for watching. I'll put a link below this video to um, a blog post that will tell you more about setting up this theme. Thanks for watching and bye for now.